This tutorial will introduce the segment widgets methods and events for use in developing repeating data interactions. The segment widget is a UI component which is commonly used to display lists or pages of data. It is a container that provides the capability to define a row template that is repeated for every row or page. You can design a segment using Visualizer and assign static data to it using the master data table, which we covered in the previous chapter. In this tutorial, we will learn how to assign data dynamically at runtime and how to add interactivity to the segment. This tutorial requires Kony Visualizer 2.0 or above. We will take the app designed in the previous tutorial as the base and enhance it to use these APIs. Let's start by understanding how to add data in a segment using the Set Data API. When you set new data using this API, the existing data will be replaced with the new data. The data is a JSON array with sections and rows, as you can see as seen in this example. While setting the data, you can specify the row and the section template to be used to render the data on the screen. However, not all segment widgets require the use of sections. It is always recommended to not set more than 50 to 70 rows of data on a segment at a time. One should add the new set of data onto the segment once the user starts interacting or scrolling. We can make use of the Add All API of the segment widget for this purpose. This API allows you to add new data to the segment appending to the existing data in real time. To ensure that the new set of data is added to the segment only after the user has scrolled through the existing segment list, we will make use of the segment scrolling events. It is an event callback that is invoked by the platform when scrolling through the segment widget. As you can see, we are making use of the on reaching end event and in the callback, we are invoking the function which appends the new set of data to the segment using the add all API. Let's run this app in app preview to see how it looks. As you can see, our app displays the data which we have assigned using the set data API and on scrolling it is appending the new set of data in real time using the add all API. Now let's see how to read and modify existing segment data. We have a form which has the details of a contact, and we would like to link this form to our contact segment so that on selecting a particular contact, you can see the details. To do this, we will make use of the on row click event of the segment widget. On this event, we would like to do two things. First, determine which row has been clicked and read the data. And second, navigate to the contact detail form with the details of the contact populated from the selected row. To retrieve the selected row, we need to pass the row number and section number to the callback function of the on row click event. In the callback method, we will make use of the two parameters to get the widget values of the selected row. We will use this to fetch the data from this particular segment row and assign it to the contact detail form. We can also modify and delete a particular segment record. On the contact detail form, we have the edit and delete buttons. We will make use of the set data at API to edit the contents of a particular row. Similarly, we have the remove at API, which we will use to delete a particular segment record. Now let's rerun this app again on app preview to see how it looks. Notice that when I select the delete contact button, the segment record is deleted. This tutorial is the second part of a three-part series. In the next tutorial, we will learn about the new segment widget row animations in Visualizer 7. To submit questions, go to developer.coney.com, or for more information about Visualizer, go to coney.com, products, Visualizer.